In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade Nerf rocket launcher that shoots these rockets or the Busby Glow Darns incredible ranges, and it's easy to make and it's a lot of fun to use. So, I'll show you how to make that now. Okay, now to build this, you're going to need a couple 3 inch and 2 inch PVC parts. You're going to need 3 inch end cap, 3 inch PVC, 2 3 inch elbows, some more 3 inch a 3 inch to 2 inch adapter, 2 inch PVC, 2 inch ball valve, and just more 2 inch PVC. So this is what it looks like all together. This is how you're going to assemble it. Just like this, you're going to go end cap onto 3 inch to 2 elbows, then to more 3 inch to the adapter, to some 2 inch, 2 inch ball valve, and then your barrel there. Now the only tools you're going to need to assemble this are a hacksaw and some scissors and the scissors are for cutting your only other piece you're going to need for this which is a bicycle inner tube now what you're going to do is you're going to cut it off and you're going to epoxy it in now i would, was going to record it but it just seems like a really bad idea because two-part epoxying while holding a camera isn't probably not the best of ideas so what you're just going to do is you're going to epoxy all of that in there and you're gonna drill one fourth hole to fit your little end piece through. And then this is where you're gonna apply your pressure by pumping it up with a pump. So pumps in there, it gets filled in there. Make sure you use a lot of epoxy for that. Now the only other adhesives you're gonna need, like I said, you're gonna need the epoxy and your PVC primer and cement and maybe some hot glue if you just wanna go over your epoxy. Make sure you do a lot on that end cap, like I said. Now I'm going to go purple primer and then PVC cement this all together. Now if you put all your pieces together correctly, this is what you should end up with. Now really quick, just to test for any air leaks in the air chamber, which is the 3 inch parts, down to the ball valve. What you're going to do is you're going to close your ball valve, and then you're going to pump up your air chamber using the tire valve that you installed into the end cap with epoxy and you're going to pump that up until you feel comfortable you can do it however many times you want and then just all you have to do to fire is turn that ball valve and it should shoot what's ever down this chamber in our case it shoots nerf rockets or the busby glow rockets i'll go grab one of those and then we'll do a firing test on a quick side note, if you're going to be shooting the Nerf Vortex pocket footballs like I'm going to be shooting, what you're going to want to do is just trim down the fins a tiny bit, like maybe a millimeter on each side, just the very tip, as you can see, and then it fits right down. Let's get on to the firing video. Okay, I pumped this up about 65 times with my bike pump, and I mounted it on my barrel with my Gorilla Pod. Now it's time to take a shot with the Nerf rocket launcher. Here we go now. Let me just adjust this. And ready to fire. As you can see, I hit the target. Now that sums up the Nerf rocket launcher. It's easy to make, fun to use, and works really well. Now, all you need to do, like I said before, close the ball valve, pump it up as many times as you see fit, put a rocket down the barrel, and then sling that over your shoulder and pull the ball valve down to fire. Now, thank you for watching. I'm going to be doing an outdoor range test hopefully tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you don't want to miss it or any of my other awesome videos that are coming up. Thanks for watching.